Hi, I'm Jung Lok. The weather is getting cold, so let's paint landscape that focus on painting snow. In this workshop, we'll cover two ways of painting snow in the classic Sumie brush painting. The first one is the use of opaque white. With the opaque non-transparent white, we will add the snow on the top of mountains, on land surface, and also on uh, top of buildings and treetops to represent fallen snow. And with the opaque white, we can also use droplets of opaque white to represent falling snow. So in this particular demo, we'll learn how to use opaque white in a way to represent snow in the Sumie painting. But the juice of this painting is to learn how to paint around. The classic way of painting snow in Sumie painting is actually the white of the paper. And since Sumie ink is black, in order to create the whiteness of the paper and show the fallen snow and also have the perspective, we need different shade of gray. In order to do that, in this workshop, I'm also including my really famous way of Zhonglok way of preparing the five shades of gray. And with the use of water and also ink, I have a, I created a specific way of how to dilute them in a stepped process that create consistent shade of light, medium, dark ink to your liking. And this particular, um, an uh, article that I wrote has been included in the Sumi Quarterly uh, years ago and also in my blog and has been um, reposted, um, mentioned, and also credited and mentioned um, worldwide in various blog about um, different Sumi Inc. And I have also been consistently asked by workshop uh, attendees to repeat the process. So in this workshop, I will include and demonstrate to you how I create five and can be a numerous number, five shades of gray with only water and ink, but consistently in the process that I can always come back to my mid gray, come back to my light medium gray and so on. So in this demo, we will work on this particular composition, a very classic Sumie painting of Japan that we will include um, not only the outline and um, the ink application, but the application of different shade of ink in order to represent this nice gradation for the snow landscape. So two classic way of doing landscape, opaque white and um, negative painting, and also the um, consistent way of preparing ink in different shades so I hope to see you in this workshop. See you there. Bye-bye.